Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the neural network toolbox in MATLAB and in this case I have a set of inputs uh, each input is nine numbers and I have a very large set that's for training and my targets on the training are basically we have two an array of two values and one of them will be a one meaning it belongs to the second category and a zero for the other one and at some point we can see the values that are on this other category so this element 164 is on the first category whereas this one here 163 is on the second category okay so using these values we're going to train our neural network I'm just going to use the GUI that comes with the toolbox. We're going to load our data. So we have our inputs and our targets. And I'm not going to go through all these steps, but we get training, create our network, train it, and so on. It's trained. And we're happy with the results. And I want to focus on once my network is trained how do I get results for unseen data? So really we need to save the network. Okay, so we want to call it whatever, net in this case. We want to save that network. And then we close. Okay, we don't need a script. And now we have an object called net that will appear on your workspace. And how do we use it to get new values, new predictions for new data? Okay, in this case, I'm just going to create a dummy variable. I'm going to call it test data. And remember, my input data was a set of nine numbers. So I'm just going to make those up a few zeros. And I have my nine numbers. So this is my, my test data. Okay, so now what I can do is say my result is going to be equal to using, remember the name of my network is net, and apply, give it as input my test data. The result is going to be a two element array. And what these numbers are telling me is that those values that I typed in there, my test data belongs to the first category. You see, remember our targets originally were zeros and ones because we were defining definitely not on that category and definitely on this category. Once you use the neural network, then the values are not going to be zeros and ones. They're going to be very high and very low. So these numbers I typed in belong to the first category. And this is how you used your trained neural network. Goodbye.